Hi everybody. I thought it would be really fun to make a video of me making sourdough pretzel bites. So I am an avid baker. Mostly I make anything that's sourdough related. So I thought that since I am making sourdough pretzel bites for the Super Bowl tonight that I could take you along and show you how to make them with me. This is my first time making them. I'm using a recipe by This Just Cooks and I will link her blog and her recipe down below, but it seems pretty easy. Prep time is 10 minutes, cook time 15 minutes, rise time an hour. So total time is an hour and 30 minutes. So just in time, the game starts at 5.30. It is two o'clock right now. So if we start the food now, it should be ready before the game. So in terms of ingredients, we will need one cup and two tablespoons of warm water, which I will grab from the microwave. We will need two teaspoons of kosher salt. Here's our salt. One tablespoon of dark brown sugar. Active yeast, one and one fourth tablespoons of active yeast. 200 grams of sourdough starter, unfed. Got my sourdough starter right here. I haven't fed it in I think like two days or so, so it should be perfect in what we need. And then four tablespoons of unsalted butter, which got my butter right there. And then for boiling, we'll need other stuff. We'll need baking soda, water, and for the topping when we bake it, we'll need one egg yolk and flaky sea salt and everything bagel seasoning, which we do have. So the first instructions it says is to combine warm water, dark brown sugar, kosher salt in a bowl of a stand mixer. You can also use a regular bowl and just mix it yourself. I do have a KitchenAid, so I will be using that just for ease. And then we're going to, going to sprinkle the yeast on top and let it sit for five minutes or until the yeast begins to foam. If the yeast does not foam, your yeast is dead and you'll need to start again with fresh yeast. Yikes. Okay, well, this should be active since the expiration date is August 2024, so we should be good there. Let's start putting it all together. My one cup of water. I already put my two tablespoons in. One tablespoon of dark brown sugar. Two teaspoons of kosher salt. One and one fourth teaspoons of active yeast. Now we need to let it sit for about five minutes until the yeast starts to foam. I'm not sure what it means when it says to foam. Okay, so it does say, if the yeast does not foam, your yeast is dead and you'll need to start again from scratch. But what, I don't know what that means. Does that look like it's foaming to you? Okay, this is actually a better view. So it seemed to be mixing in, so I think that's what's supposed to happen. It is mixed in. Now we need to add the sourdough discard, three-fourths a cup of sourdough discard. We'll just do three-fourths of a cup. Oh, I had it right here. So here's my one-fourth measuring cup. four cups of all-purpose flour. I use the King Arthur unbleached all-purpose flour. We get it from Costco. Look, it matches. tablespoons of unsalted butter. Don't worry, I 
wash my hands. I'm also just guesstimating. All right, so the dough should be not sticky. It's not sticky. Great, it looks great. Now I'm just going to transfer this over and oil this bowl and then place it back in so that it can sit and rise for a whole hour. So we're going to do that. I just, how do I shape it into a, like a nice ball? Just make sure that the bowl is a little oiled up and then I'm gonna place this back in here. We use the Graza oil, I really like it. I recently just got it and we use it for all of our cooking needs and it's been great. All right, placed it there. Cover with plastic wrap, let it rise for one hour or until it doubles in size. Just gonna put it back in here so I don't have to clean extra dishes. Our dishwasher just finished, so every time it finishes a cycle, it sings to us. All right, I'm already proofing some bread in the oven right now, so I think I'm just gonna put it in the oven to help make it rise faster. We'll see, we'll see how it goes for a little bit. Okay, so the oven is preheating and I took my baking soda. It said two thirds of a cup of baking soda with 10 cups of water. We're gonna bring it to a boil in a little bit, but I thought we could take a look at the dough and get ready to roll it and cut it. I feel like it doubled maybe. It smells really good. There it is, it got bigger. Pretty sure, definitely got bigger. We're gonna put the dough on the surface, divide it into eight equal sized pieces, and then cut them even more. I hate cutting things. little pretzel bites ready to be put oops ready to be boiled for 30 seconds I'm gonna turn on the boiling got my baking soda in here already I know I mentioned that before and water 10 cups it's gonna come to a boil and then all we need to do is drop these bites in the water for 30 seconds and then you take them out and then we're gonna make our egg white little um, shoot I don't know what it's called egg white wash and wash them on and then add our seasonings and bake for 13 to 15 minutes that's all you got to do <clears throat> okay we boiled the pretzel bites and now they're on the parchment paper I'm gonna separate them out a little bit they're getting sticky and they're supposed to get sticky but now I'm going to add my egg yolk. I don't have a little 
the drizzle, the, what is it? I don't know, the brush. brush. Don't have the brush. So I'm using a fork. Honestly, I might as well use a paintbrush at this point. It's fine. It's gonna be great. And then all we have to do is add our seasoning and bake it for 13 to 15 minutes at 450 and the oven is already done preheating. I think the seasoning I'm gonna do is one plate, one pan of everything but bagel and then another pan of garlic or Italian or something, whatever we have for, so we can have it with like marinara. So there's two different types. This is going well. Okay, I've never made this before, so it might not look good, but I'm sure it's gonna taste delicious. I need to separate them out a little bit more too because they will expand in the oven. So we gotta make sure there's room for them to kind of grow a little bit. Honestly, I'm surprised how easy it is. I did find some recipes where it was saying let it proof overnight. It's like no one has time to proof, proof something overnight unless it's sourdough bread, unless you're sleeping. Like, this shouldn't be that difficult to make pretzel bites. I don't know, unless I'm doing this all wrong. Who knows? Okay, we got our everything but bagel seasoning. I'm just gonna dump it. And for the other pan, we're going to do Italian seasoning and just some Parmesan. Okay, this looks good. These look good, these look good. Final product before we put them in the oven. Look at that. This is the Parmesan Italian and these are the Everything But Bagel. Wow, they look good. All right, I'm gonna put, put them in the oven for 13 to 15 minutes and we'll see how it turns out. I'm excited. And then we'll need to make our dip, so cool. Okay, so while the pretzel bites are almost done baking, we're going to make our dip. It's going to be a honey mustard dip, so all we need is Dijon mustard, light mayo, soy sauce, but I'm using liquid aminos. And then the honey is melting a little bit. And all we do is just like mix it into the bowl and it should be ready. I'm gonna double this recipe. So we have half a cup of mayo. Oh, oopsies. Oh, gotta shake it, don't forget to shake it. 0.5 teaspoon of low sodium soy sauce. So I'm using aminos. I'm just gonna do one, you know, that's fine, just one. We're still waiting on the honey to melt a little bit, but let's mix this up. Free honey, honey. All right, here's the different extra sauce. Luckily it's so easy to make that I can make it if we run out of dipping sauce. So now we need six tablespoons of honey. Added six tablespoons of honey, so we have our mixture. The pretzel bites are ready. Let me show you. I tried one and they taste very good. Yay, I'm so happy. pretzel bites, sourdough pretzel bites, and then our Parmesan sourdough pretzel bites. I made a honey dip on the side. It's Dijon mustard, soy sauce, and mayo. Super easy, but there we have it. 
thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Usually a book video every single week will come, but I do really enjoy sourdough, making sourdough bread and sourdough things. So I just thought I would create this video and have you all follow along. So thank you so much and have a great day.